Discord loot boxes are here is a 17 second video that isn't anything special, but somehow this video of Discord announcing their inevitable downfall got 1.4 billion views. And I'm gonna explain how it happened, what these loot boxes are, and some features that I really wish were a joke. Well, let's put these 1.4 billion views into perspective for a second. The next quadruple A game that will fill up your two terabyte hard drive, Grand Theft Auto 6, its trailer on YouTube got 93 million views in 24 hours, which broke the record of the most viewed YouTube video in 24 hours that is not a music video, because of course, the BTS video Butter earns 108 million views in the first 24 hours. This is the most viewed video on YouTube in the first 24 hours. And how much did this silly little video of Discord releasing loot boxes get in the first 24 hours? 1 billion views in less than 24 hours. Discord users are more dedicated fans than BTS stands, because our video got 10 times the amount of views in 24 hours than that BTS butter video. Oh, I'm already gonna get hate. I can feel it right now. Now, I hate to brag, but I need to inflate my ego for a second because I am YouTube's biggest Discord degenerate. I live, breathe, and pay my rent with Discord, which means I'm perfectly qualified to tell you what happened. So if you open up Discord on a very particular day, and I'm bad at foreshadowing, but if you open up Discord, you would get this cute little pop-up telling you that loot boxes are here. Now this pop-up, let me tell you, you're in for it now, because with this pop-up, if you hovered over it, it would automatically play Discord's YouTube video about loot boxes. That's one view. But why stop there? In fact, this video played on loop over and over and over again. Now, with the collective IQ of Discord, most people would just stare at that video and get lost in a trance, just like subway surfers. But the funny thing is that that didn't even matter anyways, because it turns out that pop-up, even if you didn't hover over it, if you inspect elemented it, it actually was loading the video before you even hovered over it. So the video was playing in the background over and over again. And not just, no, 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 not just for one person, you silly goose. For every single person that opened up Discord, this video was playing in the background. And if we take a look at Discord stats, they have 150 million monthly active users. Looping video, 150 million monthly active users. And what do you get? A f ton of views. It's that simple. So that is the root cause why Discord's loot box announcement video got 1.4 billion views. And I, I hate to break the news, but this number isn't going to go up anytime soon because Discord actually fixed it. In terms of this pop-up, if you hover over it, it now links to a fixed MP4 file that is hosted on Discord. And the final thing people are yapping about is that YouTube probably lost a fair chunk of money from this. Which, oh no, what a shame, YouTube losing money? Oh no. Really, the best part about Discord's 1.4 billion view video is the fact that it's a whole entire accident. Discord just made a silly little whoopsies that pranked the internet. But you wanna know who got pranked the hardest out of this YouTube video? It's me, baby. Because here's the thing, if you look at Discord's social blade, uh, getting 1.6 billion views is like winning the lottery. And back when this Discord loot boxes feature was leaked, which I covered in a previous video, Discord was goofing around by, in that little pop-up, putting my video right there. Ah, it should have been me, not him! Now let's get on to the important stuff. What are these loot boxes and how does it affect us Discord users? Do we need to get out our pitchforks and get all angry at Discord? No. Don't get your panties in a knot because this is an April Fool's joke, if you didn't know already. But this April Fool's event actually allows you to get something for free on Discord. If you go into your settings right now, the loot boxes tab is no longer available, but you can still get it. Remember, you're talking to the Discord degenerate here. I know everything inside and out. I'm losing my sanity. What you can do is you can actually still go to the link in Discord's video, disc.gd slash loot boxes. I'll have it in the description for your convenience, but if you're lazy, you can also just click on someone's profile if they have the clown avatar decoration and just click on on this loot box badge. And when you click on it, ho oh, ho, it magically appeared. You're welcome for cutting my awful singing. But this is the Discord loot boxes feature where you can just click open a new box. It's completely free. It'll show you this fancy little animation with some sounds I'll record later because I'm too lazy to hear them right now. You open up the package and it shows you this. The shell from Sonic the Hedgehog. But all these are just video game references and here's the thing. When you unlock every single one, which I did on an alt account, it's like a cooking show, I already did it in the background, you will get this reward. And when you claim it, congratulations, you just got clowned. The clown avatar decoration will be available to you, and by the way, this is completely free, and it says for a limited time in your decoration inventory. So you can change your avatar decoration to be a clown. Wow, that is quite fitting. Now, when you equip this avatar decoration and you go back to your profile, you will see that you now have the loot box badge. 
badge. Now, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but this badge will disappear because there's a Discord blog post article about it. All of this April Fool stuff will disappear after April 8th. But here's the thing. It doesn't say anything about that clown avatar decoration, which makes me think, are we going to have this decoration forever? And I don't want to give you a 100% solid yes, but I browsed Twitter, uh, X, sorry, please don't kill me. And it seems like this badge is temporary, but the clown avatar decoration is forever, which means you get to be a clown for the rest of your life on Discord, which hopefully is uh, very short because you should go outside and touch grass. Now, gamers, that was everything Discord had to offer for April Fools, but hold your horses because there are some questionable things that Discord is working on that I wish was also an April Fools joke. For example, I'm in the Discord preview server, link in the description, which is also the server that Marvin owns and he just went offline, so now I can't show you. You know what? Boom, screenshot of something. He owns the server. But Discord is working on an experimental feature where if you uploaded a file that required Nitro, if you don't have Nitro, it'll tell you. You can unlock it if you buy Nitro. If you just give us money, you can upload files. And if you already have Discord Nitro, you still get this ad, by the way. It'll just tell you that the uploads were unlocked. I don't know why it would give you an advertisement when you already bought the product. But hey, you don't need to listen to my logic and reasoning about it because we can just look at Reddit and see everyone's opinion. And in fact, this person has a video where it shows you if you hover over the image, it moves everything and makes reading awful. And what did the good old Discord r slash Discord app community say? Were they hesitant and gave constructive criticism or did they just hate it? They just hated it. Are they having a competition on who can come up with the stupidest ad? So anyways, Discord got their feelings hurt and it turns out a couple days later, they completely removed the experiment. It is now gone. Discord pranked us and pranked me with a free heart attack and yelling session. I don't need to yell anymore. Oh, wait a second. What's that? Discord is adding an Amazon profile connection so that if you go on someone's Discord profile, you can see, yes, oh, they have an Amazon account. I can talk to them. Not about unions, though. Genuinely speaking, why would you even attach your Amazon account to your Discord account? On my Amazon account, it's my whole name right there. And that whole name will pop up on Discord. Jebediah Jamathy Jeb Debaya. And here's the thing. Why would you want your whole name on your Discord profile? But I'm cooking up some ideas for Discord. I'm making this make sense for them. I'm doing the hard work and I expect a paycheck in the mail because there was a little bit of a data mine of some new text added. Where in your members list, you can see if someone is watching a season and an episode of a show. Maybe this has something to do with Amazon Prime Video. This is just a theory. Again, but this is an experimental feature. But do you want to know something that is out already? Well, 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 it's the Discord polls feature. Now, this is a beta feature. It can only be created on a couple of servers but it's quite simple. You have a poll that you can answer yes or no to, and it's as easy as just clicking on the plus button and creating a poll. Now you can put in whatever the heck you want. You can add emojis. You can allow multiple answers. You can change the duration of it. And when you post the poll, you select an answer or multiple and you vote. Now, no text-to-speech. Why are you talking about this? This is a server that has five normal level-headed individuals. No, four level-headed individuals. I'm in it right now. But if you go to a Discord server that has uh, 170 online Discord degenerates, if you look at a channel that has polls and Enabled, it looks a little something like this. People don't send messages anymore. They send polls. In fact, Discord has a polls FAQ page. And uh, if you go to the frequently asked questions, you know, how do I turn this thing off? <laughs> Guess what? <laughs> You know what's funny? You can't. You can't turn this off. Any user with the permission to view a channel can vote in a channel. Any user with the send messages permission will be able to create polls. So that means that anyone in your Discord server can create a poll. And that anyone could be someone like me who is mentally deranged where I made a poll that you need to scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll until you get to the bottom of it. Oh, what's that? Another poll that you gotta scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll. You could tell that this is a pretty big problem. Now, here is the thing. Discord did use their thinking brain, the polls actually go through your server's auto mod. So it is possible to block this and it's also possible to block people from spamming racial slurs or whatever bad words you want. What is that sound? It's like a call from the void. Oh, it's this Discord feature called stalk your friends and everything they do. It's the recent games experiment and I'm on Discord Experiment Hub linked in the description but Discord is working on an experiment where if you click on someone's profile you get to see all their recent games. Are you playing games without me? I'm gonna mail you a big package that is explosive. But this feature shows all your recent games, which makes me think, does Discord even care about your privacy? What if I want to play Sakura Clicker or Hot Dude Dating Simulator? Don't you worry, gamer, because you can actually go into your user settings, go to your profile, and you are able to turn it off. Now, just to round everything out, Discord silliness is never meant to cause harm. And funny enough, Discord does troll us all the time, especially the data mining community. They released this new experiment called Access AF. 
What does it do? It changes the Discord icon, does some weird staff stuff, and finally, the most important thing is it adds... <laughs> Kevin. Hi. Anywho, gamer, I just got back from vacation, and let me tell ya, life sucks without being on Discord 24-7. Anywho, bye-bye, I love you.